what's up my friends and the viewers of the tube today is going to be a shock to some of you i actually did a video about five days ago and about drip and piston token and today when you see this video it's probably going to be uh, mo obviously more than five days so definitely get up to date on how much more the price has dropped but price a lot of people, it's funny, these, these drip people and these piston people talk about how price doesn't matter, but do you know what does matter is liquidity, and that is going quickly. And just five days ago, uh, well, let's just go over the details. So as you can see here, this was a video I did five days ago, and there was pooled, I've highlighted at uh, 1.5 million uh, in pooled BUSD. And today, Right now, we're at 1.53. We have dropped 200,000 in five days. That should be quite alarming for a lot of people because if 200,000 has been dropped in um, you know, five days, let's just see how long that's gonna take. We go 1.3 million divided by 200,000. And we have 6.5 uh, weeks. So times that by five days, we're looking at 30, just about a month is the runway, just based off simple math. Obviously, it would probably be a little bit longer because of um, how the liquidity is pooled. But uh, that's that should be definitely alarming for a lot of people. So in the next month, this project probably two months could be uh, having real liquidity crunch issues. But that's not the only one I did talk about Piston also. And I've been warning you guys that there is a liquidity crisis. And at some point, this uh, token that is a stable token at $2 is going to break. Uh, that same video I said, um, well, it did break, but previous videos, I said, be careful. And lo and behold, it did happen. But as you can see here in this video, there's 130,000 uh, pooled um, five days, days ago. This is the same video, uh, just reporting on a different token. And if we look today at the pooled price, there is 92,000. So from 130 to 92, I believe, 92. So you're looking at essentially a $40,000 loss in five days. So that gives us a runway of about two weeks. Um, obviously, those numbers are just off the top of my head using simple math, uh, like napkin paper math. So it, don't quote me on it, but just going based off of how much liquidity has been taken out in five days, that should be alarming to a lot of you, especially if you hold these tokens. Um, that's why it's so important to look at liquidity. That's why it's so important to look at trends and see what these projects are actually creating. And if there's any kind of, I wouldn't say ecosystem, but uh, a way to continuously build upon that would keep people around. And if both these projects, a uh, piston, I feel like, does a, a, a way better job at developing, creating what the community wants, and uh, drip does not. So piston actually creates, piston does, uh, drip doesn't. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think that should be an alarming thing for a lot of people. If the token price has gone from a literally, uh, well, this has gone from two dollars to fifty cents in a matter of. seven days, 10 days, 10 days, yeah, 10 days. So quite a bit of a drop, 75% drop. Um, and the liquidity, like I said, it has literally been uh, being drained. So 40,000 of it has been drained in a short while, um, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Uh, you can actually see, like, I mean, I, I would, I don't know if this tr is true, but the way they kept the, I mean, you can see the volume go from when they started the LP to um, now. The volume has just skyrocketed. So I'm, I'm guessing that they use trading bots or some kind of 
like smart contract to buy and sell. Um, I think that's what their LMR or whatever it was called was doing that. But I would, I don't know if it's true, but I would almost say that it was used to drain liquidity um, much faster without anybody knowing. But I have no proof of that. Um, that's just my speculation. But um, yeah, I, I definitely see both of these projects being done before uh, the second quarter of this year. And I believe, I would say that the people that Forex and his group of people are going to blame the community on why this project failed. Um, this project drip. So as you can see, I mean, on my previous video, I, I did have it at, I did have 3 million in liquidity and now it's down to 2.7. So like I said, these both these projects do not have a lot of runway left. Um, both are about less than two months of having true, true liquidity issues. Um, yeah, definitely liquidity issues. I hope that a lot of people are trying to salvage as much of their investment as they can um, by draining as much money as they possibly uh, can from these projects. I mean, that's kind of how, look, I, I, it's funny because people, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to pretty much say like that. I mean, that's the, the name of the game, right? Like that's how you win in DeFi is investing your money and getting more out of it than you invested. But a lot of these people or a lot of these projects over promise and under deliver. And that's my, um, my issue with it. If you made more money than you put in, congrats, you win the game of DeFi. I've done that plenty of times and I've reported about it, um, like for instance, Nbox and My Rich Farm. But once I got out, I told people that exactly when I sold. Um, and most of the time, I would say 90% of the time uh, that I sold at the top and I was lucky to get out because I've been in, I've been studying essentially the ways a lot of these projects uh, go and I can tell you as a pro tip um, they pretty much look like this 99% of projects look like this pretty much like that like and just die um, it, it's probably even not even that uh, level. It's more like it doesn't go back, obviously, but then it's like that. And I would say 99% of projects turn out this way. Um, so for instance, when I was in uh, my rich farm, I saw this second peak and I literally got out at that point. I was like, okay, I'm selling all of my um, farms. I'm selling all my tokens and getting out. Same thing with Nbox. I saw that it was uh, losing steam and they were giving away a lot of the money that uh, just for free. And that's not sustainable. If you give people money constantly for free, uh, there's a thing called the compound effect and the, uh, compounding works both ways. They're <laughs> compounding downwards. Uh, that's why people are in so much credit card debt and it's only 25% a year. Um, and that creates an issue. So, um, I don't know. I like to draw, but that's, that's about it. Um, maybe make this into a face. I don't know. Anyways. Have a wonderful day. You guys are amazing. And I am happy that a lot of you are um, seeing the light and coming to my channel now and saying you are the only one who is bringing light to the drip community because everyone else is brainwashed on the um, better shilling the drip token still. There's so many shills out there still and it saddens me because I'm guessing that they're just dumping on their audience and I have no financial gain, um, except actually, if you like this video and smash it, there is some kind of 
views. I guess I get some like monetization, which is laughable. Um, like people don't really, I mean, besides the top one creators who make a lot of money, like millions of dollars um, from their videos, uh, most YouTubers don't uh, make money from YouTube. They do it through partnerships. They do it through brand deals. They do it selling their own products, affiliate marketing. There's so many ways to make money through YouTube. Uh, I'm just here to document my journey and share some knowledge along the way. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next one.